you so strict with your church preferences, man? I don't know how strict I am, but yes, I do believe it's vital to be taught biblical truth. And you think my church doesn't teach truth? Biblical truth? Well, you told me your pastor affirms the rainbow movement. And? I think that's loving, like Christians are supposed to be. Right. Well, I look at my Bible and there are some pretty serious warnings about false teachers, false gospels, and the suppression and twisting of the truth. Is it that serious, though? Can't we just focus on loving our neighbor? Well, the first and greatest commandment is to love God. And Jesus, who is God, said, if you love me, you'll obey my commandments. Loving your neighbor comes second to God. So you're saying... If we don't love God first, we can't love our neighbor because loving our neighbor isn't about our opinion. God calls us to speak the truth in love, to stand against things he has called sin, and pull our brothers and sisters out of the flames of this broken world that just wants to swallow them up. But that's a hard thing to preach, man. It is. But even Jesus said that there'll be those who come up to him and say, Lord, Lord, we preached, we cast out demons, and did many works in your name. But he'll say to them, away from me, for I never knew you. So, obviously, we gotta find out how not to be rejected by Jesus. Yep, and that starts with obedience to God, putting away what others think about us, thinking seriously about people actually going to hell one day, and loving them enough to tell them the truth. Yeah, that's the hard part. But, you know what, at the end of the day, doing one thing right is worth the cost of a thousand men's praise.